Okay, hello, how are you? How's it going? <laughs> All right, so this is like another bonus to the HL7 fire work that we've been working on. Um, I wanted you to try to, I know that we have fire XML going to HL7 version two, but actually a student has asked me, what about the other way around doing HL7 version two? to fire XML, can we flip it? I said, yeah, be, I, we definitely can do that. Just flip the logic, change the, the templates. I'll show you how, how to do that. And um, I just wanted to share that with you. So I would say, here's a solution. The, um, the channel is called HL7 version two to fire XML. I'm trying to keep myself on top here so you can see me. <laughs> All right, float on top, there we go. All right, cool. Um, yeah, so here's what I did. I went inside. Well, before I even went over here, I took the original channel, and you can see what the differences are. We go to set data types, and instead of it being XML to HL7, it's HL7. See that inbound? Outbound XML. Then on the destination, we want to follow the XML all the way through XML to XML. So here are the changes you have to make. That's one change. And you'll notice that'll be different. So change your data types. And then in the transformer, there's, you can know there's nothing MSH, there's nothing in EVN. There isn't a PID. So what I did was I switched the original logic. You can see the message templates here. See, I put the HSL7 coming inbound and then the XML going outbound and that's the trick is just flip them around and then you just flip around the code here So I literally just flipped it around I Dragged and dropped from different locations and it was really that easy. So I just want to remove everything here So I can post this for you guys And that's it. I'll show you how it works You can see the opposite of HL7 going to XML same thing over here, I, this was temp, this was message, I just flipped it around. Same thing over here, I flipped these around. And over here, I left this as message encoded data, so I didn't change anything over here, and there's no transformations over here. The big difference is, again, with set data types. You have to change those, and then you have to change the five transformations in here. Really three, because we don't do anything with MSH or ABN. That's it. So uh, I'm not going to say anything because I accidentally clicked the wrong thing, but I will show you. I'll also put this ADT in there for you. Okay. Um, we're going to go ahead, send this ADT in. We're going to do HL7 to fire, but fire XML. All right. You can see we've sent this in. transformed it and then it encoded it and then now it's like okay, like, now what do I do? Now it jumps into the first destination, comes in as the XML, doesn't there's no encoding in the destination. And then in the send, it literally took what's in the, what's what was in the encoded, which is what which is what we expected, and it put it in here. So that's how you flip it. And I just wanted to share that with you real quick and um, I Hopefully you figured it out on your own, but if not, go ahead and use this channel, and I hope it helps you a lot, and thanks for watching, and thanks for your support. Have a good night.